things to die.
pretty tough. I'd imagine that was Leupold. It looked like it took some damage. We should hurry. Are you Mai? Your grandfather's worried about you. Why don't you stop fighting and go back to him? Grandfather is worried about me? You're lying! You won't fool me, you tick! Hey! We're not lying! He really said that! I can't believe you'd use a child to try to convince me! You're despicable! <gasps> Don't tell me you already got Grandfather! Listen to us! Relax. We just need to get to the ship that's up ahead. We met your Grandfather on the way. The ship ahead? So you're Utic soldiers, just like I thought. You're planning on using that ship to destroy this mine. We're not gonna do anything! Look, we're not related to you, Tick! Kids, stay quiet! I'm not a kid! Damn it, this is a waste of time! Just get out of our way! Uh, you've gone far enough! You're not taking another step! I won't let you! You're not getting away with this any longer! It's all right. Please, Mai, listen to us. I don't need to listen to you. I won't let you take anything else from me. I won't ever forgive you. Lupo!
time to feel my father's wrath! to drive. drive. to drive.
Grant freedom to this soul bound by flesh! gonna take loophole from me, aren't you? I know what comes next. I'm ready for it. Go ahead and kill me. Just like you killed my father and the people from the mine. Get a grip. If we wanted to kill you, we would have done it a long time ago. Don't worry. Our attacks on Leupold were just enough to temporarily interfere with its drive system. It should be back to normal soon. I don't need your pity. We're not pitying you! Whoa, Shion! Our friends are on that ship, and if you keep getting in our way, we're not gonna hold back. That ship is as important to us as this place is to you. You, of all people, should understand our feelings. <sighs> my! My! Grandfather? Oh, you're hurt. You foolish tomboy. I'm sorry. They talked about you, so I thought these Utic soldiers had gotten you too. These people have nothing to do with Utic. Oh. I swear, your rashness is going to be the death of me. Can't you be a little more ladylike? The mine workers all ran away in fear of you, Tick. If I don't protect this place, who will? And besides, Daddy was... This place connects you to your father, doesn't it? Don't worry. We won't tread on your memories. Your ship should be up ahead. My. If you're done here, then go. I don't need any more trouble. Thank you. Huh. Jeez, she's just as stubborn and aggressive as a certain someone else we know, right, Shion? Why are you looking at me? See you're alive too. I knew it'd take more than that to do you guys in. 
<laughs> We're not gonna go that easy. Chief, thank God. I thought I'd never see you again. Alan, hey, where's Cosmos? Does anyone know where she is? Chief, about Cosmos. What's wrong? We recovered the ES craft and Cosmos. But there was nothing we could do. What? What do you mean? It's best you see for yourself. Assistant number two, show her the way. Chief, this way. Her core was damaged during the fight with Telos. <gasps> we can repair damage to her frame or her control program. But there's nothing we can do about the black box once it's broken. That's not true. We can fix her. You're here, and so's the professor. Chief. You know the only one who could repair the core is Kevin, the designer. Cosmos will never move again. Cosmos? No! Open your eyes, Cosmos! Save the game? Proceeding without saving the game. Are you sure? How about on your side? Found anything? Nothing yet. There are no signs of the Elsa or any ESs in the UMN region. There ain't even a log? None. How is that possible? If they were transferred in some sort of accident, a log should exist. They may have been reduced to Planck scale along with the hypersphere. No way! Uh, where have you gone, little master? And Master Guinan is away too! Uh, little master! <gasps> Committee member Yuli Mizrahi. I assume from the tone of your voice that something's gone wrong. The little master vanished along with the research target. We're searching for them now. What? You still don't know where they are? Unfortunately, no. I see. Committee member Mizrahi, I presume you did not contact us to check on the situation. Yes, there's been a new development in the Federation government. I wanted to inform you at once. You sound serious. What is this new development? The Federation government is moving forward with plans for a full-scale invasion. What? Where? The birthplace of the Ormus organization, Planet Mictum. The Federation fleet has already set course and is employing the newly completed Merkaba. The Merkaba? So Dmitry Yuryev is behind this? Yes. If something isn't done, the chaotic wars of the past may descend upon us again. Or perhaps something even worse. Are they planning to wipe out Ormus? What should we do? We'll wait and see, depending on the situation. The Federation military may become our enemy? 
Dimitri must have a reason for heading to Mictum. That man wouldn't move the entire fleet just to suppress them. So there's something there, huh? There was a record of an object in the remaining fragments of the Y data inside Momo. That object was taken by a faction of the immigrant fleet when they left Lost Jerusalem. An object? The Eternal Circle, Zarathustra. Zarathustra? We're still investigating exactly what it is. But Dimitri has the Y data as well, and his is in a more complete form than ours. I have a feeling his actions may be related to that object. <sighs> oh. You have the ESs and the emulators, so you may be able to stop Dimitri. You would receive full support from Representative Helmer in such a case. Helmer? Things are that bad? But we can't do anything if the Elsa is missing. Leave it to us. We'll find them no matter what. And then, if that old man is doing something stupid, we'll go out there and slap him upside the head. Yes, I'm sure Little Master would like to be a part of that, too. I'm sorry for always asking the impossible from you. I'll head there myself as soon as I can. Hopeless. Without a transplant of the actual base tissue, we can't save him. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Is that Feb? Oh, that's right. It's Lieutenant Virgil's surgery. No. Think what that would do to you. We can't lose a valuable realian to save the life of one soldier. Our cells should have affinity for each other. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Wait, that's not Jin. You sound like your mind is made up. Fine, we'll try it. That's... <laughs> Was I dreaming? Yes, I remember. That boy saved him. Jin and the others weren't there then. Vessels of Anima are gone? What's wrong? Uh, there's a little bit of a problem. You'd better explain what's going on! Like I said, the vessels of Anima are missing. There's nothing wrong with the crafts themselves, but the power cores have just disappeared. How can that happen? What caused it? I have no idea. Perhaps it's a negative side effect caused by our time travel. Yes, yes. Speaking of side effects, things may get even worse. What? 
Even more stuff's gonna go wrong? Well, we're not really supposed to be here in this world. That contradiction is slowly but surely building up latent heat energy. If we let it keep going, it'll almost certainly end in destruction. Destruction of what? This universe. What? It, well, that might be an exaggeration, but it will at least blow away this region of space. That's how dangerous this latent heat energy thing is. What do we do? That doesn't sound good. Is there anything we can do? Well, there is something. We may be able to return to our original time if we contain this latent heat energy with a field and interface with the space-time continuum. No problem, then. Let's get started. Let me finish. All I'm saying is that it's theoretically possible. We don't have anything capable of generating a field powerful enough to contain it. There's nothing we can do. Cosmos, will you ever wake up again? Will you ever say good morning to me again? Chief, you're here again? When we get back to our original time, I'm sure we can find a way to fix Cosmos. So... Alan. Yes? Do you really think this is that Milsha? It's difficult to believe. But the data Momo's gathered all points to this as the Milsha 15 years ago. I don't understand. This is definitely Milsha from back then. I've met Feb, Lieutenant Virgil, and even my younger self. But I can't just accept it so easily. If this is really Milsha back then, a terrible fate is going to befall this planet in just a few days. Can you believe that? Well, Jin was saying, if this is really the world of the past, then our actions now could have a dramatic effect on the future. It's certainly true that we don't know what might happen to us if we interfere with the past. But if that's true, doesn't that mean we might be able to change the past? Don't you wish you could change the past, Alan? Well, yeah, I have all sorts of things in the past I'd like to change. I think most people do. Everyone regrets something. I bet everyone wishes they could redo things. But it's not a good idea to interfere with this world without understanding the situation. That may be the logical way of thinking. But even so... Damn it! Everything is happening at once. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Chief, you're probably tired. How about getting a little more rest? You're right. I think I'll head to the city to relax. What? Chief, we shouldn't go outside until we understand our current situation. I have to do something. I can't just sit around here. Besides, we'll never really figure out our situation unless we go outside. Chief, hey, wait a minute! I can't bear just standing around. You can interfere with this world! You can go tell on me if you want. Chief... It's okay. I'm just gonna go visit the city. 
I'll be back in two or three hours, so tell the others not to worry. According to the information we have, the city is in a battle zone with Federation descent troops. Why do you want to go there? W wait a minute. I'll go with you. That's okay. No, it's not. It's dangerous to go alone. Cosmos isn't here, so I'm going to protect you. Chief? Shh, hide. Is that a Utic transport? Looks like it was in an accident. Was it attacked by the Federation? Beats me. It's hard to tell from here. Wait! Someone's coming out. Damn, this isn't good. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. Oh, Supervisor Uzuki, over here. What? Dad! Huh? Dad? He's... Yes, it's definitely him. Suo Uzuki, my father. How are the subjects inside? No good. They're all destroyed with their maintenance beds. We won't be able to use them. Federation military isn't taking any chances. Thanks to them, the project is going to be delayed even further. What should we do? Just retrieve the vital data, then dispose of the rest. Leave the Realians. We'll have the disposal team incinerate them later. Let's go! Oh, this is awful! What was the point of this? Let's see, model number DZ-2000330. Looks like they're combat realians. What are you doing, Chief? This. Hey, that's an ID. Lend me your connection gear. Sure, but why? I'm gonna modify this ID and make us our own. Well, what? It looks like she was a UTIC scientist. A Realian coordinator, actually. There's spare uniforms inside, too. What? Chief, what are you doing? There's something I want to check. You can go on back. I can't leave you alone. Where are you planning on going? My father probably headed for Labyrinthos. I suspected he was connected with you, Tick. I have to find out what the connection was. 
If you're coming with me, then hurry up and change. Things don't look very friendly here. No surprise there. The Federation front line is only 20 kilometers away. Although, the fact that they haven't declared martial law yet must mean they're not too concerned. Why doesn't the Federation just attack? They can't. The Realian troops that compose the Federation's main force can't be used. Why not? Have you forgotten? The UTIC organization has the ability to make Realians lose control. Though I don't think they've been able to expand to the whole star cluster. The Song of Nephilim! Yes. On top of that, there are a lot of civilians here, as well as the Zohar. They can't just hit the city with interstellar weapons. ID, please. Wait a minute. You're with the 34th Special Transport Team? There was a report that your team was attacked and destroyed. Um, yeah. We got lucky and passed out. So we escaped danger. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So, what happened to the cargo? The cargo? The Realians. 
Oh. They were all destroyed. I hope that doesn't delay the project. A connection experiment using the test subject is going to begin soon. You should hurry. Supervisor Uzuki isn't going to be happy if you keep Professor Mizrahi waiting. Professor Mizrahi's on the fourth floor. Say, Chief, isn't this the hospital we saw when we dove into Cosmos's Encephalon? But it looks too heavily guarded for a hospital. No! What? This is no hospital. When I was a child, I thought it was a hospital. But this is a holding ward for the test subjects that are necessary for their project. Stop! Ahead is Labyrinthos. You can't pass without a dedicated ID. I knew it. This facility is part of Labyrinthos. What? Uh, um, here's my ID. No. Your ID doesn't permit you to pass through here. Return to your work. You two, what are you standing around for? Upload the test subject's personal patterns to Central. What? Yo... Yoki Mizrahi? Didn't you hear me? I told you to upload the test subject's personal patterns. Oh, yes sir. Let's see. The test subject's personal data... Yes, sir. Currently cleared through list 177, list 281, 15... Were you just assigned here? Y yes sir I see. I'd heard I was getting new assistance. How's list 281? Yes, sir. List 281. This is a list of patients in the hospital. Is it done yet? Oh. L list 281 clear. Upload complete. Um, what are these test subjects? This is the data from test subjects capable of linking with vessels of anima. We're going to control their fear and perform a Zohar connection experiment. Weren't you informed? No, I'm sorry. Chief, look! Vessels of Anima! Yes. Why here? I have no idea. And 
What does he mean by linking people to vessels of anima? Look at this. It's the Zohar. You're right. Looking at this, it appears the vessels of anima serve as a mediator to approach the Zohar. I thought they were the power reactors for the ESs. Actually, they're transmitters. No, more like translators. Their power is the byproduct of acting as mediators between people and the Zohar. They were calibrated here, and what we were using was the finished product. But this data... I wonder why they needed to relay it through realians. He said something about controlling fear. Maybe that's related. Hmm, I wonder. Chief, look. <gasps> Mom's name. Why is she on the list of test subjects? You there. Yes, sir. Go fetch my assistant, Kevin Winnicott. I want to know Fabronia's condition. Kevin Winnicott? Does he mean our Kevin? What's the matter? Hurry up! Oh, yes, sir. What is going on? This is the first I've ever heard of Kevin being here. I wonder if it's just someone with the same name. This is the first I've heard of it, too. Kevin didn't tell me what he did before he joined Vector. But his Hilbert effect theory and his knowledge of Realian architecture makes sense if he was Professor Mizrahi's assistant. you barge in here without knocking! You... you're... Hmm... Have we met before? No, um... Are you Mr. Winnicott? What? Is my name that unusual? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um... Professor Mizrahi is calling you. He wants you to report on Fibronia's condition. Oh! It's already that time? Understood. I'll get things ready. Tell him I'll be right up. That boy is Kevin? His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. So he was involved with you, Tick. Chief! Chief! What? Look at this! Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. The effectiveness of a human-modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? Hey, this is Cosmos's basic theory. It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. It really is, Kevin. Chief, what are you doing? What else? Taking a backup. What? Here? That's crazy! I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please? Distract him? Huh. You're still here? 
Oh, um, actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realians. Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep it much longer. Would you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. Oh, um, we're sorry for disturbing you. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. Neurosis Special Treatment Area. What is it? The door won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. Here. Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. What is it now? What's that image? Hmm? Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. I'm sorry. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. Yes, there's no mistaking it. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of anima and the Zohar. Excuse 
Excuse us. We brought the data. Uh, set it down there. D dad We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. <gasps> Mom! You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? Ch Chief! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. You're just distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. How many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? Oh... But I'm worried about Mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave Mom to us. But... Xion. I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. Hmm. I see. Yes, please take care of her. Come on, Xion. Let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. Um, your house is in block B-32, right? What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. But your dad's gonna be busy with work until late. The soldier! Soldier? I want to visit the hurt soldier! Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside.
They're pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yeah! Seb gave me seeds! You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy. Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Are you slacking off at your job and playing babysitter now? Mr. Winnicott, this is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity? To counter the unnatural destruction of war? Placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? Are you really Kevin? Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Shion, wait! Where are you going? This is a shortcut! Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Come on! Right. Hmm. You're recovering smoothly. But you should stay in bed for a while longer. Tch. Like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? You aren't you, Tick, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. I told you you need to get some rest. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons. But we aren't your enemy. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Xion? What? Y yeah I brought Xion. Oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um, here. Wh what? Flowers? For me? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. You won't take them? Uh... Uh... Th thanks. You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Damn it. This isn't me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. Not at all. You look good with them. Damn it. Sounds like you're having fun. Deb! Fibronia. I'm glad you recovered. 
Don't come any closer to me, Realian. Virgil? That's a Utic Realian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. I didn't ask for that. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. If I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, that's enough! This is none of your business. Please don't say such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Realia know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Realian. We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. But I feel no hatred for human beings. Because it is the proof that we exist. Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. It's fine if you feel that way. But my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Feb! We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday. Let's pray now, Xion. What are you gonna pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. What are you going to pray for? For Mom to get better soon. And for the soldier to get better too. That's a good idea. Let's pray together. Xion, let's go. Jin? Losing control of Realians is an ingenious plan. A Trojan horse planted by their leader. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated realians was attacked by the Federation? No, we just lost a few realian units. It won't affect the project. Although I am concerned about the Federation's next move. We know all the details of their descent operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So, have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him. But who knows how it'll go. As long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. What's the plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole Song of Nephilim into space. Save the game? Proceeding with... Oh good, you ate it. 
Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Xion? She went to pick flowers. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are, but that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. The food was delicious. I'm glad you liked it. I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because. That's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them, too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <sighs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer and destroy and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true. When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. <laughs> I don't get it, but if you say so... my day. Well, what do you want me to do? Why are the flowers there? Oh, and this one too. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how.
Wow, so this is Cosmos's basic theory? Hmm, these are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? Beats me. What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. What the...? That's not the problem! Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey! I heard that, you! When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Now! All you people here are in the way. Get out! Shoo! Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then! Let's get to it, Alan! <laughs>